What's up everyone, Slender here, and I'm going to show you guys how to get gem dust. Not just a little bit, a lot. Let's go. So the main reason you're going to want gem dust and a lot of it is to get this high level material spectral dust. Spectral dust is used in um, quite a bit of higher end material or, you know, things that you need to craft. And there's actually some decent stuff that required just straight gem dust too. Not just the spectral dust, but, you know, gem dust is part of recipes also. So you can get gem dust or you need gem dust for spectral dust. The Merciless Hunter's Crossbow. Major Explosive Box. Requires 30. The Holy Resistance Flask, which is the highest level Holy Resistance thing that you can craft in the game. You need Spectral Dust, which requires Gem Dust. Spectral Dust for the Phantom's Veil, which is a pretty nice uh, cloak that I've been using for a while. Scrolls, you need uh, just regular Gem Dust for scrolls. And you also need scrolls and Spectral Dust for schematics, which are used, you know, for unlocking new recipes and stuff. You need 400 Gem Dust for crafting the highest level um, necklace in the game called the Blood Key. And you need 200 Gem Dust to build the Siege Golem, which is used to, you know, take out other enemy bases and stuff. This guy's huge. And again, for schematics, if you want to farm schematics or, you know, make like a schematic factory, you know, printing out the paper, or turning them into scrolls, etc., etc., you need schematics to unlock all the high tent or high tier gear in the game. You need schematics for everything. All the good stuff, cool couches, you know, big giant bookcases, um, all the late game weapons, magic accessories, everything requires schematics, you know, as far as the, uh, the high tier stuff. So gem dust and spectral dust play a big role, you know, in progression in the game. And it's hard to find gem dust. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get it. I mean, it's not really hard to find. Gem dust is pretty much everywhere. It's just hard to accumulate, you know, a lot of it, especially when some of these things cost two or 400 gem dust just for one thing. So when you're looking for gem dust, what you're really looking for are the nodes, the gem nodes, and there's three different types. So you've got the crude gems, which are going to be in the Farbane Woods, the Hallowed Mountains, and um, that's where all the crude, you know, gem veins are. And then you have the regular gem veins, which can be found in the farmlands and the cursed forest. And then finally, you can actually get, there's actually a couple flawless gem veins up in this, you know, top tier area. And I think there's only a couple of them. So these, that just shows you the, um, the general areas of where you can find the different tiers. And if you're actually looking for the, um, the locations themselves, you know, each individual vein, you just want to go down to resources and click on gemstones. So there's two flawless ones, one up here, one down here, and then these are all crude and these are all regular. Now the crude ones, they give you a certain amount of gem dust, plus, you know, some crude gems that you can turn into regular, that you can turn into, you know, flawless. And then the regular gem veins give you a little bit more gem dust, and then the flawless ones give you the most. And I'll show you guys that right now. So since I'm up here in the uh, farmland area, this is going to be a regular one. All right, so the regular one gives you eight gem dust and then regular gems. And here's what the flawless gem vein looks like. And you can tell there's a pretty big difference. There's way more, you know, gems growing on the side of it than the uh, regular or the crude ones. And these are going to give you 12 gem dust. You can also get some gems from the golems. And here's a crude one. And the crude only gives you two. So two, eight, and 12. You can also get gems from just regular mobs as a regular drop. Another way that you can get a pretty good amount of gem dust is with the missions. There's three different locations that can give you gem dust. So for the Bastion of Dunley mission, I'm just gonna, you know, put some random guys in there. So 
So with some, you know, pretty high level guys, up to 297 for 23 hours and up to 99 for a two hour hunt. And then there's also the two harpy nests. And just putting one person on it up to 198. But the number one way to get gem dust is by using the devourer. That's right. And this is the way I would recommend probably the missions, but definitely using the devourer. And to unlock the devourer, you're going to need to go to your blood altar and you're going to have to locate Lydia, the chaos archer. And she's located a little bit east of Farbane Woods, or she's in Farbane Woods, right over here next to uh, the bandit camp. So she's in between the bandit camp and the bandit logging camp. And she's also going to unlock the chaos volley. And I still, still to this day, use it in every single one of my fights. This is probably my favorite ability in the game. Now, one thing to take into consideration or to, you know, take note of when you do this is you definitely want to have your devourer in a confined room. Um, and also it takes four crudes to make one regular and it takes four regulars to make one flawless. And it doesn't matter whether you use the crude, the regular or the flawless, they're all going to give you relative amounts. So, you know, you don't want to like, you can to make it quicker. I guess it might not even be quicker, but you know, if you break down a crude topaz, you're going to get four gem dust. So if you break down a regular one, you're going to get four times the amount of that. So 16. So it doesn't matter which one you do. They're all going to, the amount that you get back is going to be relative to the quality of the gem. And then if you do, you know, a flawless one, you're going to get 64. And that folks is the best way to get gem dust. So, um, one thing that I would do, you know, whether you're just starting out at level one or, if, you know, if you're all the way up to 91, every single gemstone or gem vein that you find along the way, you should be cracking every single one and stocking up on those gems because you're going to need gems for a bunch of stuff. Um, and gem dust, spectral dust, it all ties in together. So never miss one. Every time you see one, jump off your horse, go smash it, and then continue what you're doing. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for the Gem Dust video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you guys want to see more guides like this, like and subscribe, and I will continue to put them out. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and you have a great day.